Welcome to the F5 Networks, Advanced Web Application Firewall, Demo Series. In this demo, we'll show how to update an existing Big IP Advanced Web Security Policy using automatic policy building. This is Demo 21 of the AWEF Demo Series, and it's intended for intermediate level Big IP Advanced Web users. For optimal viewing, we recommend using full screen mode. The environment for this demo contains three devices. A Windows workstation will be used for sending requests to update the existing security policy. These requests will arrive at the F5 Big IP system, running Advanced WEF. The Big IP system already has an Advanced WEF security policy, used to protect the backend web application. The Big IP system, using its full proxy architecture, examines every request before sending them to the backend web server. Through this process, Big IP Advanced WEF can update the existing web application security policy. We'll start by looking at the virtual server we're protecting. This is a standard HTTP virtual server that listens on 10.1.10.35. On the virtual server security, policies page. You can see that we already have a security policy attached to this virtual server named 19. Auto update. Security policy. Let's examine the allowed file types page. The security policy is already configured with the 8 file types needed for this web application. Notice that the HTML and PDF file types are not on this list. Also notice that the wildcard entry isn't on this list, which identifies that the security policy isn't currently learning any new file types. Next, we'll look at the allowed URLs page. The security policy is configured with the 19 URLs needed for this web application. The HTTP and HTTPS wildcard entries aren't on this list either. Finally, we'll examine the parameters list page. There are 12 parameters used in this web application, and again, the wildcard entry isn't on this list. Let's access and use the DVWA web application. We'll use this page to look up a user account. We'll then use this page to send a text string and view the response. The security policy has been configured with all file types, URLs, and parameters that were needed when the web application was created. However, the web application has recently been updated, adding new file types, URLs, and parameters. Therefore, we must also update the security policy accordingly. For example, when we attempt to access this URL with an HTML file type, we're blocked. We're also blocked attempting to access a PDF file type. We're blocked from accessing the instructions page. The brute force page. The CSRF page. And the about page. These requests are being blocked because they are requests for file types and URLs that have been added to the web application since we created the security policy. Until we add these entities to the security policy, Big IP Advanced WEF will see requests for them as illegal, and block them. We'll now open the security policy, which we can quickly get to by clicking on Application Security. Notice the Policy Builder Learning Mode is set to Disabled. We set this because the security policy was complete and we didn't want to enable the policy builder to continue learning new elements. We'll change the learning mode to automatic, and then save, and apply the policy. Let's return to the allowed file types page. 
Note that the wildcard entry is still not on the list. We'll now access the web application again. The request for the HTML file type is still blocked. Let's reload the allowed file types page. Notice the wildcard entry is now on the list, as the policy builder is now learning about new file types. Also, the policy builder has added the HTML file type, which is still in staging. Let's examine the allowed URLs page. The wildcard entries for HTTP and HTTPS are now on the list. And the policy builder has learned about the user policy.html URL. Now that the policy builder is learning about new file types and new URLs, let's return to the web application and access the same page as we did earlier. The HTML page now displays. The PDF page also displays. All three of these new URLs are also available. When we reload the allowed URLs page, you can see that the new URLs for about.php, instructions.php, and vulnerability slash brute are all now on the allowed URLs list. There's also an entry for asterisk.pdf as a regular expression. This applies to all PDF files. Notice that all new URLs are currently in staging. On the allowed file types page, you can see that both new file types are now on the list. On the parameter list page, the wildcard entry isn't yet on the list, as the policy builder hasn't yet learned any new parameters. We'll now access the brute force URL and attempt to submit values into the parameters. We're blocked because the parameters aren't yet added to the security policy. When we reload the parameters list page, the wildcard entry is now on the list and the policy builder has added the three new parameters for the vulnerability slash brute URL to the list and they are all in staging. We'll try the request again. We now succeed in using the two input parameters and the submit button parameter on this page. We're now going to use an iMacro in Firefox to simulate traffic from a trusted workstation going to the web application. This macro sends several legal requests for the new URLs and simulates inputting data into the parameters on the brute force and CSRF pages. We'll wait a few seconds and run the macro again. You can see that the requests for the CSRF page are being blocked. This is because the parameters on the page aren't yet on the allowed parameters list. We'll now examine the allowed URLs page. The policy builder has added the vulnerability slash CSRF URL to the list. Next. We'll examine the parameters list page. The policy builder has added the change, password confirm, and password new parameters for the vulnerability slash CSRF URL to the list. Also notice that the three parameters for the vulnerability slash brute URL are no longer in staging, which means they are enforced. We'll run the iMacro one more time.
the two new file types are no longer in staging, which means they are now enforced. All new URLs are also now enforced. Finally, all parameters, including the three on the vulnerability slash CSRF URL, are now enforced. The last thing we need to do is return to the security policy settings. Now that the security policy has been fully updated, we can once again disable any additional learning. Thank you for watching this demonstration on how to update an existing F5 Big IP Advanced WEF security policy using automatic policy building. We encourage you to watch additional AWEF demos, and for more details on how Advanced WEF can protect your web applications, contact your F5 Network's Sales Account Manager. For questions or comments about this video, contact Chris Manley at the email address at the bottom of the page.